So today we're going to talk about how you can get into your Echo device settings and other stuff without actually using the app on your phone or your tablet. I'm going to show you how you can access it through the web browser. The first thing you want to do is go to this web address that I have below. After you get there, sign in and let's take it from there. So the first thing you're going to see when you sign in is the home screen. So on the left side, you can see you got a bunch of stuff you can choose from. You got now playing, music, video and books, list, reminders and alarms, contacts, skills, smart home, things to try, settings, help and feedback. And of course you can sign out at the bottom. So if you want to see what's playing on a particular device, you just go to now playing and then hit that drop down menu and you can just choose whichever device you want to choose from. You can even get a history of what's been played on that particular device by just hitting the history tab. We're going to skip music, books and videos because that's a list of stuff that you can choose from. So we're going to go down to list on the list. You can see all the lists that you've created, even with your echo device. It doesn't matter which one, because the list is based on your account. But from here, you can also create a list that you can access from your echo device. So if it's easier for you to type the list out instead of just trying to talk it to your device, this might be a quicker way. And if you already have a list that you created in word, for example, you can copy that list by creating a new list and just paste it over here, or you can just add it to an existing list that you already have on reminders and alarms. You can come over here and add reminders. You can manage your alarm. You can't really set any from here because it doesn't give you that option. So you'd have to do it on the device and then you can manage your timers. So you can't set timers from here either, even though you have access to all the devices on this list. The next on the list is the contacts. So you can come over here and add contacts and you can view contacts that's already been created. Next on the list, you got skills. So the skills are all the stuff that you already know about that you can add to your echo device so it can do more stuff than it's capable of doing right now. And if you ever want to see your skills in the top right corner, you just click on that and it will show you all the skills that you have enabled on your account. And from here, you can also delete a skill. So if you want to come here and delete skills that you know you're not using anymore, instead of trying to do it on the echo device, you come here, choose it and just click disable. Disable skills again. And now that skill is no longer active on my account. So this will probably be a quicker way of enabling disabled skills. You can do this on the app, but it might be easier with the mouse and the keyboard right on the skills. You got smart home. So this is where you can see all your groups, all your devices and all your scenes. And right below scene is telling me I got 14 home skills enabled. So I can see my groups, for instance. So I can see I got a den group and I got two in that group. I got a computer display, which is three. So it tells you how much stuff is in that group. And then in the multi-room music group, it's showing me that I got two, five and so forth. And while I'm here in the groups, I can actually create more groups. Now let's go back one more time. And now let's go to devices. So from here, you can see all the devices that I have that include light, TV, switches, anything, doorbell, anything that you have. And from here, you can forget devices by clicking on them individually, or you can just say forget all. And if you do that, you got to realize that you're going to wipe out the entire devices that's connected to your Echo account. So be careful about clicking this button and deleting all your stuff that you already have connected to your Echo device. You can also discover new devices. So if you install a new device and you want to run discovery right here, you can just click this button. But of course, you know, you can always ask her to scan for new devices. Now let's go back one more time. And then you get your scenes, the last thing on this list. So you can see all the different scenes that you have set up, you know, like night light in the closet, stuff like that. So any kind of scenes, these are mainly the light stuff. So anything to do with your lights. And also on this part, you can also disable them by just clicking forget and all these scenes are in here so you can forget all just like you do on your devices and then you can discover new scenes and like i said this might be easier for you to do things you know because all of these things you can see offline and it's probably better to view through the browser because you know the browser is a little bit quicker than trying to view all this stuff on your mobile device for instance and finally on the smart home screen you have the 14 enable skills. So you can go through and see all the skills that you have enabled right now for your smart home devices. And at the bottom you have enable skills. So if you want to add a skill to this list, all you have to do is click this button and then go to the process below that. You have things to try, which is usually for somebody who's new to the echo device. 
So we're going to skip that part and we're going to go down to settings. Now in the settings, you have access to all your devices that include the fire stick and echo shows and the echo dot, whatever echo device that you have or fire TV device you have, you have access to it right here. You can also see when it's online and even when it's offline. So if I choose this fire TV 40, I know that's my fire stick It's going to pull up all the different settings based on that device. And then I can make some edit, like I can edit the name. I can adjust the temperature unit and the distance unit. And it gives me the serial number and all that stuff. If I go to one of the echo device, for instance, like this echo show, it's going to give me settings based on the echo device. So I can turn on do not disturb. I can set up a schedule. I can set up Bluetooth. I can go into the sound settings. Now in the sound setting on the web browser, it doesn't give me the option to adjust like the EQ, for instance, you know, where I can control the bass and the mid range and the highs. That's something I have to do on that particular device or through the app on your mobile device. But as you can see, I can adjust the sound of the alarm timer and notification. I can turn on and off where the notification message sound play when I receive a message. I can choose the type of alarm that I want to get played back, you know, the different sound to choose from. And I can adjust the ringer, the start request and the end request sound that you usually hear. So in the help section, for instance, you can go and see her features. So, you know, you want to choose anything on here that you want to learn about about and then you got help with the devices so if you want to get help on a particular device all you have to do is choose one off this list and you can even get help with companion devices so we're talking like the echo sub for instance as you can see they still support the amazon tap and that's a device that they don't sell through amazon anymore but they still have support for it. Then you can also email customer service if you want to do that and then you can call customer service you just choose the device the category that you want to call about and then select an issue and then it's going to ask you to put in your number and when do you want to call and then once you put in your number somebody's going to actually call you back instantly and if you feel like you want to send feedback you can come here and send feedback you know it's good to let amazon know stuff that you would like for instance new feature requests so you can come in here and tell them hey i wish my echo device could do this now for all the people in the uk that says that they can't get certain things i would recommend that you come to this section and request to amazon tell them that you would like updates like here in the us when we have updates because i know i recently did a video and a lot of the people in the uk that watch my videos my subscribers they say they don't have certain features that I was mentioning in that video. So what I would recommend to you guys is to come here and let Amazon know that you need these features too. And maybe that will help them speed up the process so you can get those features too. Okay, so if you never knew that you could get to those settings by using a web browser, now you know. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.